So we're going to make fathead pizza dough. So it's better with pizza than red wine. We have a Tempranillo from Biltmore. Favorite wine, not sponsored. But that's what we're going to be drinking tonight with our pizza. First the wine, then the pizza dough. Also not sponsored, the best corkscrew ever, Ikea. That easy. And then of course you have the aerator from Pampered Chef, which is also not sponsored yet, mm -hmm. hopefully, because most of my products are Pampered Chef because I love the way they cook. Cheers. Next up, pizza dough. Folks, on this episode of Intoxicating Kitchen, we have fathead pizza dough. This is my version of it. You'll see many different recipes. I like a little more flavor. We're going to start off with uh, about two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese. To that, we're going to add about two tablespoons, give or take, of cream cheese. We're going to put that in the microwave, 30 seconds at a time, get that all melted and stir it up. It's going to take about a minute to a minute and a half total to get this done. Into the microwave it goes. And there you go. 30 seconds, take it out, stir it, put it back in 30, another 30 seconds, pretty much melted. You don't want it too much more or you're not going to be able to handle it when you want to knead it. So then we're going to take it back over. So all melted, we're back. We're going to put one beaten egg into it. Farm fresh from the backyard. We'll get to that another time. We're also going to add one and three quarters cup almond flour to this. Get this well mixed in. I also add about a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese and then a half teaspoon each of parsley, oregano, onion powder, and garlic powder because I like my crust to have lots of flavor. We're going to get this all mixed up and then we're going to get a board out to knead it and we'll be right back with you. All right, so also, right before we start kneading it, I'm going to add a half teaspoon of exathium gum. This just helps it get some elasticity, that stuff that you miss from real flour. So if you're keto and you're doing this, that's a great product to use for anything. A lot less carbs than real flour. I'm going to get this out and get it kneaded. Again, I have my small dish of more almond flour here, so if it's too sticky and starting to stick to my board, I can add just a little bit more in there. Mixed in there good, so we have uniform pizza dough. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. You can smell all the cheeses in it. A little bit more in there. Best thing to do is keep folding it after you put that in so it gets well incorporated. All right, 
we'll get this ready and we'll get it on our boards and roll it out. We kneaded our dough. We've rolled it into four small balls. We're going to flatten it out a little bit, put it in between two pieces of parchment paper, and roll it as thin as you want. You want a thin crust, roll it thinner. I'm working with a limited roller here. It may not be perfectly round, but that's what makes it a unique pizza. If it starts to stick a little bit, you can spray a little bit of olive oil on it. These misters are great. You get just a little bit of olive oil, not too much. Once we get these all rolled out and put on a baking sheet, we're going to bake them for 8 to 10 minutes. And then we're going to pull them out, put all our pizza toppings on, and put them back in for another 8 to 10. And we'll be back with you after that. All right, guys, so we've got them all rolled out. You just basically flip them off and lay them down. Doesn't matter what shape size they are. If you get it too thin, just kind of fold the edges over. You see if it rips. We like ours pretty thin, so I'm only gonna cook these for about five to seven minutes at 425, take them out and add toppings. And in they go, five to seven minutes. 425 because they are thin. If you put the crust thicker, it'll take a little longer. We are pre-baked, starting to bubble, get nice and brown on the edges. So we are going to take those out and get our toppings ready. Okay guys, we're going to start getting our toppings ready. We're going to fry up some bacon. Then we're going to throw some mushrooms in there. Get that all chopped up, and then we're going to get some pepperoni, some black olives, some jalapenos, and go from there. Alright guys, we are back and we're getting ready to assemble these pizzas. We've got bacon, pepperoni, jalapenos, mushrooms. And I usually make my own sauce, but I took a shortcut and I got a store-bought one. So we're going to jazz it up a little bit just to give it some better flavor. We have some oregano out of the garden. I've added some Italian seasoning. And we're going to add some parsley and black pepper. And then we'll get these assembled. And back in the oven. For about five minutes, just till that cheese melts and we'll be good to go. All right, and it's time to assemble these guys. We're gonna get some sauce on these, as much or as little as you like. on there. Everybody loves pepperoni on their pizza. Get some bacon in there. Mushrooms. For the hobby, some jalapenos. Get some thick sliced mozzarella on there. Get those in the oven and we'll be ready to eat them. Five to seven minutes. At 425. We 
check them after six minutes and see how they are. All right, and they are good. I got my crust a little too thin, so I had to turn it on broil so the edges are a little bit more done than I want, but it'll work. Melty cheese, we're all good. And there we go. Dinner is ready. Don't be shy. Hit that like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to see what's next and leave your comments down below. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed this as much as we do.